After removing two plastic bags believed to contain medications from Michael Jackson's rented mansion, the LAPD is now reportedly focusing on five doctors who may have been prescribing drugs for the singer. Some of the drugs found reportedly did not have labels or used an alias. CBS News has also learned that when Jackson would have even minor cosmetic procedures such as Botox, he would take Demerol, a narcotic painkiller not normally prescribed for such a procedure. Frank DeLeo was recently rehired as Jackson's manager. Yeah, there were a couple, you see, you know, there were a couple of days where you say, Mike, are you all right? Are you, you know, are you taking anything? Are you seem, well, no, why? What would make you think that? Don't ask me that. He said that, I have kids, I'm not doing that. So what are you gonna say? You know, he's a grown man. The LAPD has now executed three search warrants, and a law enforcement source confirms that one of the drugs investigators removed from Jackson's house was Diprovan, a powerful sedative used as anesthesia during surgery. Jackson is said to have sought out the drug in recent months to help him sleep. If you make a small error in how much you give yourself, even one cc's difference, you might go from being high to being dead. Now, we should know more about which drugs, if any, contributed to Michael Jackson's death when the toxicology report comes out in just a couple of weeks. Meanwhile, Michael Jackson's fans are gathering here at the Forest Lawn Cemetery because there is speculation that this is where his burial may take place, yet the family has yet to confirm that. Katie? Ben Tracy reporting tonight from Hollywood Hills. Ben, thank you.